hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is jane and this is my channel where i share content i'm about how to study abroad i'm a lifestyle as a graduate student in the u.s so today i wanted to bring you guys along with me to see how my day is usually like my usual day so you see how i woke up in the morning around 5 30 a.m i thought i was going to go out go to the lab very early today but guess what it's almost it's not almost it's actually after eight right now see it's like 10 minutes past eight so now i've changed my plans and the change of plans is that i really hope i get to the lab before 8 30 because i need to start some experiment before 10 a.m i have a meeting by 10 a.m so i'm really hoping that i start the experiment so i can go for the meeting and come back and continue so now i'm done having breakfast i'll be heading to the lab and i'm going to bring you guys along with me so you see how my typical day is usually like in my last video i made videos of things you should know before you apply to the u.s if you are thinking of doing your master's your phd your undergraduate degree whatever in the u.s i made a video on six things you should know before applying i'm going to attach the video up here so go watch it when you're done with this one but for now let me not sit here and keep talking and time is going let's head to the lab come with me guys Oops. so um i live and school in upstate new york where it usually snows for like five to six months in a year so whenever it's summer like this i like to walk to this campus instead of taking the bus so today i'm working although sometimes i take the bus but i just like use this opportunity as i'm walking to campus i use the time to think i use the time to process the experiment i'm going to be doing i use the time to just just like meditate yeah i do that when i work so yeah let's walk to campus so i'm here i got here at exactly 8 30 a.m which i think is good and i am the first person to get into the lab today yeah so let's get the day started okay what happened all the computers in the lab are shut down this is weird i think there was a power outage while we are away i just hope my experiments were not affected Anyways, I'm going to drop this phone and figure out what went wrong. So, I think there was a power outage at some point in the night. This rarely happened, but I've seen it happen like once or twice over the course of my um, um, PhD. Some of the equipment, like the computers and some things, shut down while some restarted themselves. I just checked my experiment that I had running overnight and thankfully, thankfully the experiment completed before the possible shutdown happened so that is good i have one more experiment i'm going to check to see if it's completed before the shutdown so yeah these are some of the things you get to fix so now what i'm doing is just making sure every equipment is back in shape but I, this one this this one right here this one right here was beeping when I walked in. It was really beeping, error, beep, beep, beep. So now I've, I just restarted it, it's back to shape. I'm just going to walk around the lab. I've actually done that, but I'm just gonna double check, make sure everything is fine. And then we can get it started. So this is how, this is it. This is reality. Unfortunately, this, my experiment that I had staring overnight, I met it turned off. I'm trying to figure out what time the shutdown happened so I know how long it was here without staring because I wanted this to be staring overnight. So I'm going to find out from my boss what time he, he said he received a notice that there was a power shutdown. So I'm going to find out from him what time the shutdown happened and with that I'm going to gauge if there's going to be a problem with this experiment and hopefully it was soon before I walked in. I just hope because I can't afford to redo this experiment but if that's the case I might have to redo it welcome to the reality of phd i just i just heard back from him that the shutdown he received a notice about the shutdown around 7 30 a.m so which means like one hour ago before i walked into the lab which means that my other experiments were cool there's this experiment that i had running on this computer here before i left also so i'm gonna check that one and see if i can report the data if the data reports and everything seems fine then i know this one also completed before the shutdown happened so yeah so yeah 
I am kind of done with that one. I want to start, let me start an experiment. For those of you that don't know, I am a chemical engineering PhD candidate, so I work with chemicals. But that does not mean chemicals is all we do. Chemical engineering is more about design of a process. So for me, I design catalysts for remove for utilizing CO2 captured from the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is the major cause of global warming. But if we capture the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, we can design catalysts that would not that we can redesign catalysts. This is what I'm doing right now, I say catalyst. We design catalysts that would take this carbon dioxide and convert it to useful chemicals. So what I have here is a catalyst that I made. When I load carbon dioxide and hydrogen on this catalyst, I'm going to get useful hydrocarbons that can be used to make different chemicals, make even plastics, make other fuels. Yeah, so that's what I do as a chemical engineer in PhD candidate. So I just started this experiment, it's currently running. My lab mate just, one of my lab mates just walked into the lab. I'm going to go into the other lab and continue. Danielle, did you have an experiment running overnight? Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, luckily, my reaction was completed before 7.30 a.m. So guys, um, I finally started the main experiment that I wanted to start before my meeting at 10. So sorry about the sun. So I'm currently walking to the library where the meeting will be holding. So I am currently the vice president and treasurer of the Graduate Student Association of my school for the Arts, Science and Engineering School. So we have a meeting today at 10 a.m. to discuss some things. I'm currently at like nine minutes to 10. I'm currently walking to the venue. It's in the main library. It's called Rostry Library of the campus. If you've watched the tour of my school that I did some time ago, I'm going to attach the video up. You can, I'm sure you'll be able to recognize me. I'm going to, at least we all be walking to get to the place. Come with me guys. Walk up wanting you beside me I don't know what else to say Ain't no particular reason Just hit by your way Okay, so um, I just finished the meeting now. It's 11.19. The meeting was supposed to be for one hour, but of course we're talking about other stuff. And it's a today one hour. So now I'm going back to the lab to check on my experiments and continue other stuff. So um, I saw that we've run out of liquid nitrogen, which is a, li a liquid gas that I, I need for my experiment. So I'm going down to get more. But there's something about this elevator. It used to be very old and cranky. But they just got it renovated. But the funny part is that the African in me has been scared of using this elevator for a while now. <laughs> this kind, what if it gets stuck along the way? But I think it looks really nice. This is actually my first time entering it since it got renovated. This is liquid nitrogen. It's a cryogenic fluid, which means it's really, really cold and can literally freeze the blood in your body if you should touch it with your bare hands. So that's why I have this um, cryo gloves, cryo gloves that prevents you from feeling the cold. 
the coldness of the liquid nitrogen. See the ice on it. Just to make sure it's properly closed. Okay, I think it's fine now. Now I have to use this to carry it. Maybe I'll grab a cup of coffee and listen to a favorite song. I'm such an idiot, I'm pathetic, thought I was moving on. One eternity later. So um it's 15 minutes to four. I'm just like wrapping up for the day. Um taking notes of the things that I need to work on before next week and also for early next week. I'm just yeah, just wrapping up making sure everything is okay before I can leave for the weekend. But I think I'll be working this weekend. So some weekends I work, some weekends I don't. It just depends on how things are going. If I need like to do an urgent experiment. So based on my schedule and everything for the next couple of days, I will need to be in the lab this weekend. So I'm going to be, by the way, today is Friday. So tomorrow being Saturday, I'm going to come in tomorrow. But I won't spend the whole day. I'll come in in the morning, start up my experiment, and then I will leave. And I think I might also come in on Sunday, but Sunday I can only come in later in the day because I go to church on Sunday. So I can only come in in the afternoon when I'm back from church. So it's still like shaky. I may or may not come into the lab on Sunday. But for now, I'm almost done for the day. I'm just like wrapping up and then going to the other lab and make sure everything's in place. I have one or two things to put together, then I can go home. Guys so it's currently 3 56 p.m. This is when I'm leaving the lab. So approximately I spent seven hours plus almost eight hours. Japan ideally you're supposed to spend eight hours in the lab every day. Then because I do experimental research, um the work you're doing for that day will some most time determine how long you're going to spend in the lab. So it can be more than this. I can stay in the lab till late at night. It all depends. So what I usually do is that I usually like bring my lunch to school so that I will eat here but sometimes I don't so what I'll do is when it's time for lunch I'll just go back home because my house is not that far from school I'll just go back home it just gives me time to like take a short break then I'll eat and come back but today I did not bring food and I did not go back for lunch so this is me since morning so now I'm going home it's already past it's already four o'clock on the dot so when I get home, I will get lunch to eat and then I will rest, maybe make some calls. Today is Friday, I'm supposed to have a prayer meeting with my friend. So I'm going to get home, eat, and then I will call her or she will call me. Then after the meeting, I think I'm just going to rest. Usually Friday night, I do something fun with my friends, maybe hang out, go for dinner, or just do something fun. But today, I won't be doing any because I'm just I just need to rest so this is one of those Friday nights that I feel like I should just take time and rest so I'm back home to eat and I'll be eating rice so I boy who is messaging me so I boiled egg to eat as part of my rice actually I'm eating rice and stew I boiled egg to eat with the rice and the reason is because <laughs> I was going through Instagram so on my Instagram I have different categories of people that I follow and one of the category is food I follow a lot of food blogs so today as I was going through I saw this food they made and they had like boiled egg inside I think it was spaghetti or rice or something like that and because of that I felt like eating boiled egg with rice <laughs> so you guys know how I said I was going to relax tonight nope I almost forgot that I'll be going to church. We have night video tonight, our monthly end of the month night video. I attend Reading Christian Church of God here. 
so that means tonight i'll be going for a night video i thought i was gonna sleep and rest even now that i'm home i don't really feel like resting like i'm not like tired tired even though i've been busy all day so what i decided to do is to eat while editing videos so i have my laptop here i'm currently editing this video that you guys are going to be watching this particular video now i usually do it during weekends but since i'm done for the day at least for experimental work i will be editing as much as i can today then maybe tomorrow i'll finish it and hopefully you guys will see this video on sunday hopefully hopefully fingers crossed let me eat my food do you know how some people swallow their rice do you guys swallow your rice or you chew your rice i've met i've met some people that swallow rice they don't chew it let me know in the comment section what you guys do if you swallow or you chew your rice i chew my rice We came really early to church. This is church. People are not here yet. What? No, I need you to. I need you to say that loud. Oh. Subscribe to Unique J and hit the notifications. Period. Thank you. Please tell them to subscribe. Subscribe to Unique J. Thank you. Justin, tell them to subscribe to my channel. Uh, subscribe to Unique Genie. Thank you. But this is the end of the video.